On top of it is a picturesque view of the harmony of the water, the vegetation from the distant islands and the cloudy horizon line. Another side trip is the beautiful vanishing island. Vanishing because it vanishes during high tide. Mr. Davy Aribal, the municipal tourism officer, shares his pride of being a Barobuhanan for having this treasure. If only people will take care of our marine waters, the tourism industry will really prosper as we all dream of, he says. Most of us plunge into the tempting clear water for a few minutes. The beauty of the place seems to ease the weary researchers. But this beauty conceals a tragic account of devastation bought by responsible people. We are thankful to Surigaudo Sur State University for providing us a copy of the underwater videos taken last August 2010 as part of the monitoring of coral reef resources and reef fishes in the seven municipalities of Surigaudo Sur under the BFAR Sumacore project. A collaboration of Philippine government, the Philippine Business for Social Progress, and the Spanish government. This video shows the recent condition of the corals of the marine sanctuary. Obviously, a big portion of soft and hard coral population is damaged. The seabed looks like a barren land beneath the ocean which is supposed to be home to our marine species. We intend to publish this video through SSDSU in order to awaken the people, especially Barobuhanans of the disaster that many of them have created. This can be worsened by ignorance and selfish intentions of the few. Then, we go to the coastal communities to gather more information. We come across a mamangalay, a fisherman who uses pangal, a basket-like fish and crab trap. It has an islet on top that serves as entry point of every catch. It will be thrown and left into the seabed for a day. All traps will be gathered the following day with hopes of a bountiful catch. But the Mamangalai claims that his catch is not enough to feed his family. We continue navigating. We are looking for tekodamo or stone oyster gatherers. This means of shell fishing is harmful to the seabed since gatherers pound the stones or hard corals where oysters are attached. But we found nothing, so we decided to duck at the compound owned by SP member Chodora Mira. We pay courtesy first with the formal letter we prepared for her and to the barangay captain of Unidad, who happens to be her son. She invites us to rest for lunch. She shares to us her experiences in fighting against illegal fishers, especially those using dynamite. Mm. Nakad to ang mga iligal na bituanta mo, eh lang mo kasukok sa ako ha. Inyo na kayuhan sa sunod sa sunod na mga anak mo yun. Ipin na ina ko, mo to ka magtiho. Nako, magtiho ko ha. Hindi nang galing na ako nga. Panghanap na kung kang sumunod na pumarta. Nahiyal pa, hindi na mabuhay kahit ka mo. Kasi kung hindi na pumarta, mag-liner ka! Hindi. External stakeholders have helped us a lot in the conduct of this research. After the lunch hosted by Honorable Mira, we had go back to Suwa to pack up our things. Along the way, we see a group of fishermen pulling their bali. It is an illegal fishing gear because aside from the fact that it is very fine, it is used by dragging within the target area. Even the fry and small fishes will be taken while sea grasses and other structures which are home to some species are damaged.
we have to pack up. Going back to Kenya's residence, the group extends its gratitude for their excellent hospitality. It's already five in the afternoon. Everyone looks tired, but they still manage to smile, especially when photographers snap for a shot. Even our way home is still part of the research, because we can't just ignore what we see around. We pass by Idols from Badahan, a twin boat connected by logs with fine wide net at the center. All of these vessels are brought back near the shore since it is banning period according to local ordinance. Banning period is the spawning time for fishes. Fries will be taken together with a small fish called Burinao or Dilis. But as far as the fishery code is concerned, Sumbada is supposed to be prohibited since it is an active gear. Like a lucky fisherman who bring home buckets of fish, we take home with dignity and honor tons of information. The two-day research within the municipal waters is a great learning experience. We believe that it's not too late for us to take action. We are all contributors to the tragic devastation of our marine resources. That has become stewards of nature, and now is the right time. Grass that's never there, and if I could see the 